Hey, it's your boy Gavin. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm going to drop a video today and I want to talk about Amazon. And basically what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to just basically go to amazon.com.au and I'm just going to search for 10 products. And I want to tell you why I wouldn't buy them. I want to point out all the things that are going to be difficult about the product if you get it and why you're going to have problems or possibly have problems um, selling it and making profit. So I'll just go to my screen in a second, pick out 10 random products, and this is going to give you an idea of um, if you're looking on Amazon, you're scanning through the products on what you could potentially source and then sell on Amazon, you'll have an idea of my thought process and why I would never buy this product, okay? So let's get into the video right now. Hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, I'm on amazon.com.au and let's just go through these products, pick some randomly and let's just see the process that I would go through. So obviously, you know, people are looking for options to use Amazon as a way to sell some stuff and earn some extra income. So the so the new seller will try to just basically come here and look on Amazon to see what's hot. You could just go to eBay, do the same, and then come on Amazon and flip from eBay to Amazon. Um, it would give you a, a gauge of, you know, kind of like what's selling. Now, one thing I would say is to stay away from COVID-19 products, all right? It's just not even worth trying to deal with it. Just don't even bother. Like for example, this one here, this disposable mask. Probably looking at it going, oh well, yeah, I should get a disposable mask. But there's um, restrictions with this mask. Okay, you can't just get it. There's restrictions on it. You have to go through hoops um, to get this mask. So if you're a new seller, don't even bother with it. So this would be the first one. Don't even bother with COVID-19 related products. There's too many hoops to fall through. And, you know, you may have to get testing uh, and other uh, bits of paperwork that Amazon will need in order for you to sell this. Because this is a medical, it's like a medical uh, item. And when you sell anything on Amazon, that is medical related, uh, you, it just gets messy. It just, there's a lot of paperwork with it. And essentially, if there's something wrong, faulty with the product and someone gets sick or dies from the product that you sold them, you're liable. That's why I just stay away from COVID. I stay away from all medical related items. So that's number one. First of all, I would come here and go to best sellers. So best sellers basically means anything that is best selling in Amazon, uh, they just give you exactly what's best selling so then you know. And then I like to go and drill down. So let's go to kitchen and dining. Obviously that's a com very competitive area, okay? So I just wanna tell you now, it's very competitive. And we come along here, and first of all, we see this number two, we see this 12 water pack filters. Now let's click on this, and it's filters for Breville. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what a Breville, B-E-S, whatever that is. Oh, it's a coffee, it's a type of coffee machine for a model. Okay, so obviously if I had this coffee machine, I would know exactly what it is, but I do not. Um, so this is a renew a reusable item, which is great. So people are going to continue to buy it. Let's see, it's seventeen dollars, twelve pack. Now immediately, what I do is I just go through the competition, and I see how many sellers are selling this Breville thing. Because if you look at it, how are you going to differentiate this item? It's 12 pack of these filters. How do you differentiate? How do you make it better? Well, you could make a better packaging. Maybe you could um, have the super duper Breville um, type of filter that no one's got. 
but really kind of when you think of it well maybe you could do a different color but when you think of it there's nothing you can't differentiate this item so what will happen is then people will come here because it's not different it's not differentiated they will shop on price and when they shop on price it's a fast way to the bottom that's why I would not pick this item um, and you want to get it I like to get items that I like anywhere from say 30 to 50 dollars that way there's more profit when it's a 16 dollar item it's there's not enough profit and if there's too much competition don't even bother see look at this there's a lot of competition here don't even bother okay these people are making like one or two dollars profit don't even bother it's not even worth your time so look how many look how much competition is there so that is one thing i would not touch this product simply because you can't differentiate it it's like a commodity people will shop on the cheapest price and the price of the item is not enough profit pass okay let's go to the next let's go to home improvement again bunch of face masks i would not touch them personally um scroll down there's face masks everywhere because obviously i've coded um but i i would just personally stay away from them okay let's go and have a look at this item here this clips adhesive silicon so this is for cables smartphones you know all that sort of stuff they put on a desk but as you can see here again see all the different variations so in a way you could differentiate from the different models so this one he's got like a three hole this one's like a five hole that one's like a seven hole um, and then all the different packages that people got so this would be an item for people can use at the office they can use at the um at home you know to get organized with their uh cables the reason why i would not pick this item is have a look at the competition look at all this competition and it's multiplied by literally 10 because each seller will get different varieties of the of the same item and different packs to try to differentiate so if you've got 10 sellers all trying to do the same thing they'll have probably five different versions of the same item so you've got 10 sellers now you've got doing five different versions that's 50 extra listings on the same item it's too crowded you know what i mean right it's too crowded it's uh not enough profit again i like 30 to 50 these things are 13 dollars 12 dollars you've got to be buying these things for a dollar shipped to amazon if you can make if you can make money yeah if you can get them shipped for a dollar yeah you can just undercut everyone it's not a good strategy to try to undercut everyone to beat everyone in price because there's always going to be someone cheaper than you so this item i would i would just not even bother unless you're happy with one dollar profit for a whole bunch of work okay let's go to the next item again we'll just go back to best sellers let's go down to pet supplies pet supplies is always a popular one um, I do like pet supplies and then you've got the different items um, and then you can just scroll down however it's very competitive as well because people love their pets and they always buy stuff for their pets and that's why it's really popular personally I've never gone into the food so I can't really comment on that um, but food you would need probably branded stuff and then uh, yeah you'd, you'd have to have a really good brand with your food and there's a lot of branded uh, stuff already out there so you probably need a lot of money like this dine um, thing dine is a big is a big name it's a popular name it's a well-established brand so if you're gonna go for a food item um, you're gonna compete with big well-known established brands as well and people are gonna like you know not everyone's gonna get by them buy the cat dine food but I mean 
you've got to be significantly cheaper than anyone else because people like to stay with the brands like Dine and the popular brands that have been around for a long time. So um, they're very particular about their pet. They don't want to just feed them garbage because they're cats and the dogs, that's the part of their family. I'll personally stay away from anything to do with consumables such as food, even though food in a can does keep for quite a long time. It's just too competitive, especially if you're a new seller, you, you don't, you're competing against um, established brands. So pass on food. Okay, let's go back, keep scrolling. Let's go have a look at this cat harness. Okay, cat harness for cats so they can just go for a walk, I guess. Again, I would, this item, it's the reason why I would stay away from the cat harness is because it's easy to source. You can buy this off Alibaba for like one or two dollars. Um, but it's very competitive because it's when something's easy to get and other people can easily buy it, there's more competition. But if it's an item that you're sourcing that is hard, it's very hard to get, not many people know about it. Or you, you need to get it from a certain supplier or a certain country that not many people are sourcing it from, then it's harder. Yours more unique. That's why I would not go for cat, for a cat harness because it's too easy to get. There's not enough profit in it unless it's like a thirty dollar cat harness. Usually they're selling for you know twenty dollars. There's not enough profit in it. There's too much competition. It's way easier to get and. You're not going to make much money on them. You can't really differentiate. Maybe you can a little bit on the color and the different strap and the design, but it's still a cat harness. Okay, it's a it's an item that's it's it has a certain price point. People are not going to spend a hundred dollars on a cat harness. They're only going to spend twenty bucks on a cat harness. All right, so that's why I wouldn't even bother with this item. There's not a profit in it. Too much competition. Go okay, in the home category. Let's go to chairs. Okay, so there's just chairs here. Um, the reason why I would not get chairs is simply because if you're new, um, the item is large and it's bulky and uh, there's a cost uh, to ship it. So it's gonna take a lot of volume in a, in a, in a container or even if you're going LCL or part of a container, the still volume is gonna you're gonna be paying on the volume, not so much the weight but the volume, all right? Because these chairs they come in big boxes. I mean they fold up and they take the uh, bottom out and all that, but they still fold up into a re pretty big size box. And um, although I think that this would still be maybe see you got the other issue there too. The box is going to be smaller than a standard size box because if it's classes are oversized, you've only got so much um, limits. I think you've got um, 100. You can only bring 100 at a time for FBA for um, oversize. So not only are you going to, it's a, it's a large item, you pay more in sea cost. Obviously you can't fly and it has to go by sea. You're going to pay higher, uh, more money for the volume, um, even though it's relatively cheap with sea shipping. The other thing too is you can't buy like um, 10 of these or 20 of these. You're gonna have to buy these in bulk, buy maybe a hundred or, or a container, all right? So it's just not feasible for you because, and you're gonna have to sell a lot of these unless the supplier is willing to mix the chairs and put it into a container and have like 10, 10 styles and have say 30 of each style. Even then you're still gonna have to fork out money for a full container. And for a newbie, the size and the cost to get this is gonna defeat you. So I would, I would stay away from uh, buying chairs when you first start, okay? So this one here, it's a stainless steel pick reason why I would never get this is because it's very cheap to make and everyone it's so easy to do and anyone can do it. See, 20 pegs. 
There's no differentiation. It's a peg. Anyone can source this off Alibaba, get 20 of them, and even the cost would not be high. Well, okay, $10. It varies from seller to seller. Some of them sell for $30, some of them sell for $10. But again, these pegs and stuff, people aren't buying them because they're, they're like it's like a pet item when they're buying it because they love the pet. These people are just, they're just buying this peg because it does a job and they want to buy the cheapest one. So you need to be buying these things for like one or two cents to make any money. And again, if you're trying to sell an item under $20, it's going to be very hard to make profit. As you can see, all the different pegs here, have a look at all the different pegs. And even look at these sellers. They've tried to make a little, see how, this is how desperate they are. See this little bag? They're trying to make a bag with a logo on it with pegs. I mean, who gives a shit about the bags? All they want is the pegs to hang their clothes on, right? Um, so this is how desperate these sellers are by putting uh, custom designed bags that come with the pegs. They are desperately trying to sell this thing. <laughs> okay? I would pass, would not even bother. Another one too is batteries. I would personally stay away from batteries because I mean this one's for a vacuum and, and a portable vacuum yeah um it's highly competitive okay so these batteries are off uh off off the market they're not manufacturing manufacturers batteries they're like um OME or they're basically the same battery but they're just not branded they're from a different supplier that just makes it compatible compatible for that vacuum cleaner or that device all right, it's like buying a iPhone battery or something, but not from Apple, but from another manufacturer, and it's half the price. That's basically what these batteries are. They are quite expensive, and they're a good item if you can sell them, like you know, forty, fifty dollars. However, um, it's very competitive. Okay, and. Um, also, when you declare batteries on the paperwork, you need to declare have certain um, paperwork to say that they're not um, batteries that are hazardous. Uh, they're a certain class that you need to uh, say that they're a, a closed battery or they're a certain type of uh, Nikon battery or something. And Amazon will hit you up for the um, certifications and all that sort of paperwork with it. The reason why they do it out so it's safe. Now I'm talking about FBA, okay? If you just sell it and you just do not third party, but just sell it from um, where you handle the shipping, and the item's not in Amazon, then they won't worry about hitting you up for that. It's only when it's FBA in their warehouses, okay? So I would stay away from batteries. There's not much profit in it, from what I've gathered and from my research, and. Um, you can have issues and you have to have paperwork for the batteries. They're very strict with batteries. Obviously, they don't want them exploding or leaking. So I'll pass on batteries. As we keep on scrolling down, you might be thinking, well, geez, there's so many different things that, uh, what is there to buy? I mean, there's lots of things to buy, but um, there's literally hundreds and thousands of products on Amazon, okay? I'm just showing you a couple, <laughs> okay? Okay, this one here, I would not buy this because it's, first of all, it's bulky and they may be selling this as a seller that's just doing the transportation themselves so they could, so this one here could be a business that, um, has this stuff in the warehouse and then they just put it on Amazon to sell. When the sale comes through, they ship it out themselves. I don't think this is an FBA. Um, so with this item, obviously you wouldn't do that because one, it's a big item. It's a large investment. This thing sells for $200. You'll need a warehouse and you'd need to be established business to be selling these things. And you would need a lot of money, um, and you're just a startup with, um, I'm assuming, not a lot of money. There's no way you would sell something like this. It's just way too cumbersome, too large. You're gonna have to do the shipping yourself. 
Yeah, and you're gonna need a warehouse and employees pass. Okay, so these thermos bottles, all right? The reason why I would never sell these is because simply because they're too easy to source and there's too many sellers, point blank. It's one of the most competitive uh, niches in Facebook and everyone is trying to sell these things, everyone. You need to be established brand or have a lot of uh, money, spend money on branding, get really good photos. Um, and you, are, it's very, very cutthroat. And like, you know, for example, this one here, you know, their branding, see how they've got their branding. It's very nice. Um, but generally it's just a cutthroat uh, space. Like there's literally thousands of variations of water bottles, you know, and um, I would not recommend a newbie to get in this because you're gonna find it very difficult to sell and you're gonna be disappointed when you're trying to compete with the big boys with water bottles. Maybe when you've got a couple of million dollars in inventory or with expendable cash to build a brand, then you would go into water bottles, but not in the beginning. Do not try to sell water bottles. You will get owned. Hi right, guys, so I hope you got uh, an idea of the process that um, I go through all the time with these uh, items when I see off um, Amazon. You can see how I dissected them um, and I pointed out issues that you're gonna have uh, and issues that I've already had come across when trying to sell these items. So it might look good when you're buying an item initially and you're looking at sourcing them, but once you get to them, get to Amazon and trying to sell them, it's a totally different ball game. What you might have thought when you first sourced it and bought it to when you get to Amazon and you're trying to sell it, and you'll soon discover that it's not as easy as people say it is, all right? So I hope you got some value from that video on my thought process and what I um, go through. If you have any questions, um, leave comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video.